Do you know what Whitney Houston's favorite kind of coordination is? Dead. That was really, really (laughs) awful. (laughs) Is she not? Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks. It's the core. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks so much for following us. Subscribe to the like button. So it's not like it's too soon. Do you know a while. what her favorite kind of coordination no. is? What is it? Hand eye. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm here till Thursday. Try the meatloaf. Today we got a. Uh, this is kind of an interview with Monty Rottenham. Would you like this booger? Interview with Monty Rottenham, uh, and it's about like uh, uh, the PS1, but he kind of goes in depth of a little behind the scenes uh, ish of like how it started, all that kind of stuff. What would he know about PS1? He directed it. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, awesome. So, so cool. Come As, on. The- thank you for that. We asked for more. Uh, Come on the channel, sir. Behind the scenes. Here we go. I'd like an electric one of these. No one cares. I do. No. Mother Maria, did you know Tamil to put it in the calculator? Who needs it? If we are laying interest on the door, in the Lloyd's Road, each very lending library in order. Angada, I think I picked up who needs it in Anjibaho, money more a drawing order for the editions. ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> தேவைப்படுது <laughs> <laughs> வரும்போது <laughs> அரசியல் தெரிஞ்சவங்க அருண்மொழி வருவதற்கே அவங்கதான் முக்கியமான காரணம் இப்படின்னு நிறைய இடத்துல நிறைய கேரக்டர் சொல்லிட்டு இருக்காங்க குந்தவையை பத்தி பட் கேட்டு தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதோட பார்த்து தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறது இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் இருக்கும் தமிழே வந்து 
இது நோட் பண்ணோம் ரெண்டும் தேவைப்பட்டது ஸோ அது வந்து அது ரொம்ப எளிமையாக பண்ணார் ஜெயமோகன் சார் வந்து தமிழ் வந்து கிளாசிக்கல் தமிழ் தான் ஆனால் குறுகிய சென்டென்சஸ் அண்டு பர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ரொம்ப ஈஸியாக ஷூட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு இட் வாஸ் பெரிய அட்வான்டேஜ் அந்த பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ்க்கு ஆர்டிஸ்ட்க்கு வந்து ஈஸியாக இன்னும் எமோட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு எல்லாத்துக்கும் ரொம்ப பெரிய அட்வான்டேஜ் புக்கும் <laughs> எனக்கும் செல்வம் நிறைய பிடிச்சது இந்த புக்கில் அதெல்லாம் நான் வந்து சேர்த்து படமாக கொண்டு வந்துருக்கேன் Master filmmaker. Yeah. That's yeah, a master class. Yeah, and it's it's so <laughs> he, he especially what he said there at the end, he said they should both stand on their own. Mm. Which obviously I I guess that would always be a thing. I think every director would say that each film regardless of if it's a sequel should stand on its own. Yeah. If if what they're doing is from a place of artistic integrity, But, yeah, of course. It's like I mean, obviously they would probably all hope that you see the previous ones to yeah. better, understand better understand what is going on. But yeah, I bet that's a, a difficult thing to make each film stand on its own in case somebody didn't see the first one. Yeah, which is crazy. It is. But if they're well made and artistically done, they can. Um, some some I can th- think of some of my favorite films that have some sequels to them that are of the caliber of like you know Oscar level and they can they they can stand on their own like The Godfather Part 2 stands on its own Dark Knight Dark Knight stands on its own yeah. um uh, The Two Towers stands on its own Rocky 2 can stand on its own I um, I think you can say most of the Marvel films I and mean, I I'm talking like the older ones before Endgame. I'm not as yeah. caught up with the the newer ones. But like you can say most of them I mean most of them do whereas Endgame uh, yeah. the last two Marvel films you really it helps you a great deal to know the stories that were going on. Yeah. prior um, I feel like connected to the characters. I feel like <laughs> to see the second one of this you should have definitely seen it. Absolutely. I, it always informa- helps. Too much information. No, it's always better. It's, it's always better. Way too much information going no, on. No, it would be like watching Gangs of Wasper 2 without having watched Gangs of Wasper 1. You really you really for the mo- it's always going to be better to do that. But I agree it should be a standalone if it can be it should be as good as you can make it as if someone never saw the first one. Yeah, yes. So. But he's I mean and that's why you'll hear us repeatedly say You know, one of the biggest criticisms you'll get with screenwriting is exposition that's put in the dialogue because that's just you're 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 telling the audience rather than showing and and that's it should always be showing. I want more. Hopefully there's more of Monty Rotnam. What in the fuck? I don't know. What are you looking at? I got one of those political texts. <laughs> Said, oh yeah, it's that time of year. Hi Corbin, it's Martin Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey Martin. Hey Martin. Martin. How'd you get my number? Yeah, you stalker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know he got it from his son. You guys hang out all the time. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. Anyways, fantastic video. Let us know if there's other uh Money Rotnam, sir. I know you're watching. You watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> Just Just a YouTube time. junkie. Oh, Just yeah. a YouTube junkie. Can't get enough of it. Uh come on the channel. I'd love to talk to you. Um especially before the second one comes out. I'll well, just build it. Let AR know. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll just sh- shoot him a text. Yeah, just shoot him a text and say, "Hey, you you and hey, Monty want to be my middleman. You and Monty want to get some coffee?" AR no, make him a part of it. Just say, "Hey, I'm going to be in town. You guys want to hang out, play some miniature golf. Maybe we can have breakfast." That's a common thing we do with the big wigs. That's how else will I get my cocaine? It's always done. You can cover it by ordering the french toast because people will think it's powdered sugar very simple facts very simple anyways let us know what other videos we can react to down below